everybody. This is Raquel Palmusi. It's good to be with you. And I'd like to invite you to drop in with me for this next little while. Uh, take a deep breath. Feel some release of the day's tensions or the day's activities, all the stuff rattling around in your head. On the out breath, breathe it out. And let's just have these next few moments together because what's coming in is something that I feel is like an undercurrent of our life here on planet Earth right now. And it's something that is an undercurrent as something that wants to change. Because in changing it, we begin to live an expanded version of our lives. We rise in consciousness. We live more, experience more in life. <clears throat> And what that's all about started with a little kind of mantra that I gave to one of my clients years ago. It just seemed appropriate. The person had a lot of fear. And the person was very open in some ways and very closed in other ways that she actually didn't know too much about because when you're closed you don't realize <laughs> it's like when something is like they're not there you don't always realize that it's missing so the mantra the phrase that I gave her was like a prayer it is a prayer actually whatever it is that you might pray to doesn't really matter. But being in prayer, in supplication, in itself, is a connection to the universe, to creation, to life. And what the phrase was, and is, is let Anything that is closed in me, open. Let anything that is closed, open. It's a very, very powerful prayer to ask for assistance in opening, discovering that which is closed in us, discovering those deep, knows that restrict us from living fully, discovering that which is closed, and then going through the sometimes rigorous process, put it that way, <clears throat> sometimes gut-wrenching process of letting those closed places open. Someone said, when they finally could grasp all of the things, or even some of the things that was closed in him, he said, it feels like, it feels like doors are opening doors that have been shut for a very long time that I didn't even know were there. I feel them opening and I'm hesitant, resistant to walking through them. The reason that it's a prayer is because this is part of a spiritual journey in life. This is when we engage with our spirit self. 
to reach out into the greater realms of creation and bring in the support that we need to live a life of constant opening on every level. I remember and I tell this story all the time about a beautiful man who was suffering in life. He was just kind of down on life. And after a meditation in one of my Tuesday night workshops, he said, with tears, he said, I just want my heart to open. I want my heart to open. It was so profoundly expressed. It wasn't a mental concept that he was articulating. This was a wish, a desire that came from such deep pain and experience of only knowing a heart that is only partially open. How many of you out there feel protection around your heart? Feel it, yeah, it's open to some people and some things and sometimes. My choosing, I manage it. But to wish to ask to pray for help, to have an open heart. It turns out that, that from that very night on, it set him on a, on a course of change and everything in his life, going into transition, every relationship, business, belief systems out the window, <clears throat> discomfort on every level. And yet, I kept reminding him, this is the road to salvation. You're on it. You were heard. It's happening. Let it be, let it go. Ride with it, open. Let your heart lead you. So if you look at yourself, if you are on a spiritual path or you desire to be on one or you think you're on one, it is completely necessary to have a constant prayer, a constant request from the universe for help, a constant priority in your own life to open anything that is closed. That doesn't mean we never say no, that we don't have discretion, that we don't have agency over our own lives. Being open to something doesn't mean that, that we're going to you know, make terrible decisions and say yes to things we have no business saying yes to. <clears throat> what it means is that we're open. We're open to the possibilities. And look at all the things that are closed in us, even the greatest spiritual leaders will tell you that there are areas they just won't deal with. Okay, it's their decision. It's fine. On the other hand, 
the prayer, the mantra. Let anything in me that is closed open. That means if I am closed, not just to certain experiences, but if I am closed to myself, If I am close to experiencing aspects of myself, I will stay stuck and I will never be able to get past it until I find a way to walk through those doorways with myself and discover the bigger, newer, version of myself that exists right out there. If I have fixed ideas in life about the kind of people that I gravitate towards or the kind of things that I like to do or the way I look at my past or anything, if I am in a fixed, closed idea about all those things, I will never reach a higher state of awareness or any real spiritual connection. It can't happen. There's too many no's. If my heart is closed and too um, specific about what I allow myself to engage with heart-wise, friendships, love, partnership, having children or not. If I can't release the love, if it's so protected that it has closed me in so, so many different ways, that I rationalize the reasons why I have said no to this person and that person, why I reject instead of accept. I'm not going to move past any of it in this life. And I will always feel bereft of a true connection to spirit. I always feel like there's something missing, like there's more than I'm experiencing because it's true. So, my beautiful friends, how about I give you the gift of this prayer? Let anything that is closed in me open. Help me to do that, please, for the whole rest of my life until I take my very last breath. Let me breathe it with awareness and a yes to life in my heart. Let it be so. Thank you. See you next time.